What is up, YouTube, and welcome to Digimon Academy Episode 1 Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory Beginner's Guide. So, guys, I'm gonna have some tips and tricks for you guys on how to start off with this game, or if you're new to the series and you, you know you're getting a bit confused with all the things you're seeing, because there is quite a lot to the game, guys. You've seen the tutorial stuff, but you're still not sure what certain things mean, then do not worry because Fabsy's here your boy and he's gonna go through some key things for you so it's quite a few things guys so that's why I'm gonna try and split these episodes into beginners intermediate and advanced so this episode we're just gonna deal with the absolute basics guys don't worry if I don't go through certain things that you want to go through because I will be touching upon them so this is just the tips and tricks for anyone who's you know new to the game or even people who already know the game there might be some things you might learn so guys buckle up yeah and let's get into it boy So first off, we're gonna start off with your Digimon screen. Now, what are all these stats and numbers and what do they actually mean? Now, there's a few things I won't touch upon today, guys, but we are just gonna go through the basics. So starting from top, working our way down towards the bottom, HP, that's just your standard health, hit points, no, no questions there. SP is your special points or your mana. This is what you would use when trying to use skills or magic abilities, okay? So just the higher that is, the more abilities and stuff you can use. Attack. This affects your normal attack, so when you just click your standard attack button, and also any physical damage you may do. So any abilities or magic that says physical damage, they will look into your attack stat to actually work out the damage. Defense. Defense actually is your defense against physical damage. So anytime your opponent uses normal attack or physical attack magic moves or abilities, they will use your defense to mitigate the actual damage. Now, intelligence is actually really powerful because not only is it magical attack, but it's also magical defense okay so very very strong there any abilities that says um, magical damage it will look into your intelligence stat to actually damage and also any magic damage received it will also look at your intelligence stat to mitigate it so very very strong stat there next is your speed now speed allows you to get more turns in the in the match so the faster you are the more turns in the turn order you actually get during a fight also decide if you go first or second because the game will look at who's the fastest Digimon to work out who should be going first. Next is ABI. Now we will go more into this, okay? It just stands for ability points, okay? The, but for now, the only thing I'm going to say is that it's, no, it's actually a requirement to get a certain Digimon. Now we will discuss on how you can actually raise that uh, in a short while in the video, so don't worry about that. Moving on, camaraderie. This uh, all this is is just helps you actually do your combos as well as it being a requirement for the um, requirement for many Digivolutions. So again, there's a quite a few things surrounding camaraderie, but we will touch upon that later the only thing you need to know now you raise that usually just by using your digimon in battle okay there's other ways but again this is just beginners guys so we're just going to go through very very quickly there's actually eight different personalities okay guys that we will go through but again not too worried about it in this episode you don't really need to worry about personality just know that there's a few key features of personality but for now don't worry about it you don't need it for a camera or anything okay it's just a random thing that's given to your digimon every time you get a new new digimon or whatever there are methods you can change their personalities but for now not too important exp that just shows you how much experience you need to level up equipment that just shows you the equipment that you've attached to them now you can attach equipment to digimon that will raise certain stats so we will touch upon that because that's a nice key thing to know next you also got your obviously your digimon name you've got your digimon type so etamon here is a virus type now in case you guys missed out the the tutorial I'm, i'll see if i can throw it on your screen here there's different types there's virus vaccine data and neutral for different types now it's a bit of a rock paper scissors thing where virus would be data data would be vaccine and vaccine beats virus so it's very very important to actually have a balance on your team just to make certain battles in the game much easier because you never know what type of digimon you're going to run into so always try your best to have one virus one vaccine and one data at the very least uh, next you'll also see the attribute now there's different types of attributes as well i believe there is actually nine attributes okay we've got fire lightning 
water, grass, earth, wind, light, dark, and neutral, I believe. Um, each is again, sort of like a rock, paper, scissors thing. They're all strong to one and weak to another. Okay guys, but again, I'll try and throw that triangle in case you guys missed that on the tutorial. Another thing is key to have is a team with varied attributes, just to add the, the potential of damage in your team. Next you'll see memory use, we will touch upon memory use when we get into the Digimac just because the layout is a bit easier to see there. On this screen you can also we'll go to the right and you'll see their skills. Each Digimon has a special skill, um, they have at least one, so this is just a unique skill that each Digimon has, okay. Um, the meg some Megas have two special skills but everyone has at least one. The rest are inherited skills. Okay, now these skills can actually be passed down through Digivolutions, okay? Special skills cannot be passed down through Digivolution, inherited skills can be. So, really cool to learn different special skills, inherited skills, sorry, and passing them on. The next thing you'll see is at the bottom where it says SS Mu Muscle Monkey Suit. This is their support skill or their passive, okay guys? You do, you get to learn this a bit more, but it's very cool to learn this at the start. Each one has their own unique passive ability and the way this works is if they are active in the battle, so not in reserve, they're in the battle fighting, okay, that ability will affect all current party members that are out in the battle, okay, so for example, Etamon here reduces physical damage received by 15%, if I, um, if he's on the field, he, he will be using that ability on everyone that's currently battling, if he's on reserve, it will not work. Definitely important to check out those support skills, if you're, especially if you're stuck on a bus or something, really cool for team comp. So guys, check out support skills. If you want to actually add an attachment, what you'll do is click on the Digimon, go into settings, click on the Digimon here, and you'll be able to click on the equipment and change their equipment here. As you can see, I can raise his attack, raise his defense, whichever one, okay? This is also where you will change their skills. So if you learn more than this amount of skills, they will actually go into sort of bank, okay? And you can hold up to 20 skills, okay? So make sure you uh, keep a nice options of skills here and you'll be able to have the ultimate Digimon. This is also where you can add any accessory that you've gained from playing the multiplayer. Also guys, if you go up to their name, so right here I've highlighted Etamon, you can actually rename your Digimon, okay guys? Now this has got a, a cap on the amount of letters you can use, okay? But if you accidentally go over the cap and it cuts off the name and you don't like it, you wanna just go back to the default, and the default name might be too long, so AKA Sistermon Noir, her name's too long. Uh, just delete the whole name and it will just go back to the default name, okay guys? So that's how it works. Okay guys, Digibank. This is where you're gonna spend a lot of your time, okay? So we're actually gonna talk about the memory stuff here. So as you can see, my party memory now is 45. I can't exceed that amount, okay? The game won't let me proceed with a party with more than 45. So you have to balance it out. Now the way you raise this, this uh, memory is by getting items called Memory Up or Memory DX, okay? You get these through story missions, different cases, through chests. So just play the game and eventually you'll find these and you'll be able to progressively raise your party memory. Always use this as soon as you get one because it will allow you to digivolve your Digimon to higher levels and uh, use stronger, stronger Digimon and obviously more Digimon in your team, okay? So my advice to anyone starting the game or even people who are looking to get better in the game is convert all the time. So the way you get these scan data, as you can see Digimon Convert, is by battling. When you battle, as you guys know, you get a, a certain percentage of their scan data. Once you reach 100%, you can actually make that Digimon your own, okay? You can go up to a maximum of 200%. The only thing that getting them to 200% does, guys, is raises their ABI to five. So as you can see, Agumon's at 200%. If I convert him now, he will have a 5 ABI. The way I did that, I just pressed triangle to see. If you go to 1, so Goblin I've only got 100% on him, his ABI would be 0, okay? So if you guys just want a little bit of a head start, uh, then you can do that. Not really needed. What I would suggest, guys, is that you constantly convert these Digimon into your, as your own, and then just put them on your farm, okay? We'll touch upon the farm a bit more. You start off with one farm, put them on your farm, okay? Because, you know, you need to level up. We'll go on the farm in a second. 
Guys, as you can see, when you need to Digivolve, you will have the requirements there on the side showing you what you need. Sometimes, as you can see for Venom My Ultimon, you actually need a higher ABI. The way you raise your ABI, guys, is by Digivolving and de-Digivolving. So right now, Matadormon is at 70 ABI. If I Digivolve him to Venom My Ultimon, you see he gets 76 ABI. Um, however, if I actually de-Digivolve him, I would get 82. So you get more ABI for de-Digivolving. So that's why it's really recommended that early on you guys just Digivolve up, then Digivolve back down and just keep on going up and down, up and down, up and down. Get that ABI early so you don't have to grind mid game when you just want to push on and play the game. Now guys, obviously if you're new to the game, you won't be able to see what Digimon you can get here. So you won't be able to press triangle and check. But just know that the Digivolving is always much more than Digivolving, okay? Um, it usually goes up by a certain amount depending on your level. The, the rule I kind of say is about every five, every five-ish levels, it's usually plus one ABI to a base amount that you would normally get. Now this isn't always the case, but it's just a good way. So for example, Digi D-Digivolving, down to Sanglukmon, he probably gets a base of about, I don't know, maybe it's like 7 or so, 7 ABI, but then because he's like at level 42 or so, they've added an extra ABI, so no need to get them to max level before you Digivolve or de-Digivolve, just get them up to the point you need them to get and Digivolve straight away, don't waste time guys, anyone who's hitting max level, you're wasting your time with them de evolve them straight away or de evolve them straight away especially early on um, that's all you got you've got low Digimon here guys I don't recommend this um, you don't really get enough experience stuff and there's easier ways to get experience so don't do this there's no point don't load the Digimon but convert all the time the last thing we're going to talk about is the farm now with the farm guys it is super super important especially for early game any Digimon you guys pick up throw them in the farm straight away now the way the farm works is that over time as time ticks on your digimon game experience and they level up okay i'm not exactly sure how long each kind of level up does but you can essentially leave your ps4 overnight for example and when you go back to it in the morning you'll be in stupid levels so if you guys want to cheat a bit and grind a bit in the early stage then feel free to do that okay um a few other things that we can do in the farm, I'm not going to go too much into it. This is also a good way to raise camaraderie. Okay, so for example, as you can see the bottom it says Digimeet. You can you can actually raise camaraderie by using this. So just by pressing X on the Digimon you want, you can feed them some meat. So it's really cool world elements here. And you'll notice his camaraderie has gone up. So 55%, feed him another meat. And you see it's gone up by 1% again. So this refills every five minutes. So definitely use it because it's just, you know, it's a resource. So I'll constantly feed your Digimon some meat just to stay on top of the camaraderie because there are a lot of Digimon that you can get on this game that need um, high friendship. The only other things I'm going to say on here because we will go into more depth in the farm. The only things you want to do on here where it says command for the early stages, guys, is develop. Guys, forget about train right now. Don't worry about investigate, just develop. And when you develop, do the 1,000 yen. A few reasons here. You're gonna get some cool items, especially at the start, okay? You're gonna be you're gonna be getting the C level of attachment, so attack C, uh, HP C, and things like that, which is gonna be very, very useful in the game. Once one development's done, once they finish developing, do it again. Just constantly, constantly do it, okay, guys? Um, also, there's a slight chance you can get Tactician USB, which, again, we will go into another video, but that's just going to make your grinding level up super, super easier. But don't worry about that. If you don't know what that is, we will get into that. So, for now, all you need to know on the farm is stick any new Digimon into that farm ASAP, okay, guys? Command, put them developing. And that's it where it says change leader guys it only looks at the personalities again i'm not really going to be touching on personalities but if you're doing as what i'm suggesting and you are putting them to develop then you'd want to find a builder personality digimon okay um that's all it does it will affect the time that's all it does but we will touch upon that in a later episode okay guys and that is all we have time for today those were my tips and tricks, so hopefully you guys learned a few things that you may not have known before about the Digimon and about certain things that they have. 
Um, this again was just very very basic, just you know simple stuff, nothing too complicated. I am going to be releasing intermediate and advanced stuff where we're going to be talking about different mechanics and the farm, for example, uh, talking about ABI in much more depth, talk different different types of attack moves, different moves. So we're going to go into a lot more detail in the game now, guys. If you do have any suggestions or any um, tips for other players, leave them in the comments as well. Help each other out because this is the whole point of this video, okay guys? So, that was your first lesson. Congratulations guys, okay? Go out there and own some Digimon butt. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next episode or the next lesson, okay? Um, if you liked it, leave a like. Sub for much more Digimon content and other stuff that I'm going to be doing. Uh, really appreciate you guys spending time here. So. All the best guys, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one, all the best.